Do you like roasting chickens, but you think you don't have enough time? I have the best trick to show you how to almost cut the time in half for making a roast chicken. It's called spatchcocking, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. But first, I'm gonna preheat my oven. Heat your oven to 500 degrees, and then you can start this. When I say spatchcock, what I mean is cutting out the backbone. Here's the backbone. You can do it with a knife, but I actually prefer to use a really heavy pair of kitchen shears. The backbone runs along here, so you can give yourself a little bit of guidelines in order to cut more evenly, but it's mostly cartilage, so it's really not hard. So cut down one side and then down the other side. That's spatchcocking. Well, you have to cut around the thigh bone. That's the one vaguely tricky thing to do. And then remove that. <laughs> Save it though. Save it for stock. Remove any kind of fat that's on the inside and then just turn it over and then flatten this. The, the breastbone needs to sort of crack to make it as flat as possible. You can easily do that by just pressing down with the palm of your hand. It doesn't matter if it's that, that flat, but the flatter it is, the more evenly it'll cook. How easy was that? I like my chicken to be nice and dry before I roast it. Normally for a three and a half or a four and a half pound chicken, it takes about 55 minutes. This will take 30 minutes. In one second, I'm gonna wash my hands right after I move my chicken skin side up into my pan. I'm cutting on a plastic cutting board, that way I can just bring it into the dishwasher and I don't have to worry about cross-contamination. I like to try to do this without touching the handle with my dirty chicken hands. That way I don't have to wash the knobs. And then when I touch it again to turn it off, my hands don't get chicken on them. What I like to do when I'm seasoning chicken is mix together my salt and pepper in a separate bowl. I already washed my hands, but that way, if I wanted to turn the chicken over and I wanted to use my hands, I wouldn't be cross-contaminating my normal salt bowl. But instead of using my hands to turn this over, I'm gonna use tongs, and that way I won't get dirty again. I love my tongs. They make my life so easy. So I'm using coarse salt here, which is really easy to uh, sprinkle all over stuff. All right, that is it. This goes into the oven for 15 minutes, 500 degrees. And I'm gonna get some chickpeas. Easy open can, you like. It's so geeky. Just drain your chickpeas. I'm just gonna do it over a bowl. You could do it in the sink. Okay. After 15 minutes, take the chicken out and then you add your chickpeas. This is what makes it such a great one pot meal. Just scatter them around the outside and then they roast and get kind of crispy and delicious as the chicken finishes cooking. It's kind of cool. It's a little unusual too. Usually it's like a potato or something like that. Here we have chickpeas. This literally could not be easier. Back in for 15 minutes. While I wait for that, I'm gonna use my time wisely and I'm gonna cut up some uh, lime. Wedges are good. Some cilantro, very coarsely chopped. Five minutes of prep tops. Opening the chickpeas took 30 seconds. Spatchcocking took two minutes. It's done. I can just tell. Doesn't that look pretty? Okay. Don't put this down directly on your counter because, well, it could damage your counter. And also, because it was in the oven, I recommend leaving your towels over anything that you might potentially touch to pick something up so you don't burn yourself. It's done. It's golden and crunchy and sizzly. Some of the uh, fat has come out of the chicken and I just wanna toss my chickpeas in that fat, but do you see how golden brown and beautiful those are? That's really cool. Sprinkle it with cilantro. Notice how much I use cilantro, I love it. If you don't like cilantro, use parsley or nothing. Squeeze some lime over the top and then just throw it in the pan. I just like it in there and adds atmosphere. Throw in some unsqueezed ones for people to squeeze over the top and you are done. You have the most amazing, delicious, aromatic, fastest roast chicken that you will ever eat. 30 minutes.